Today, we continue to chisel the waistline, working the abdominal muscles to strengthen them, of course, strengthening the lower back, and a whole body workout as usual. What you need for the workout today is a ball if you have, it's a one kilo or one kilo weight. So we'll start extending and then we're going to the mat. I would ask you to stand with your feet wider than your hip and really push the feet on the ground. Make sure you're not supinated, that the whole foot is on the ground, especially the outside of the feet, heels, all 10 toes, take a deep inhale with a squat and reach up. And once more, yeah. you breathe in and breathe out. And breathe in and breathe out. Last time and stay here. You have a wide V with your arms, soften the knees a bit, weight more on your heels and rotate to one side and center and oh, make sure that you're not leaning backwards. You want to make sure that your shoulders are one line with your hips. Up and up and rotate. Pull the abdominal in. Last time you stay here, lengthen the leg, lengthen the arms and look up. Really elongate from the front of your body. And again, we're going to a deep squat and reach up and down and reach up and down reach up stay here and imagine that you're holding a very big ball one of those things that you're sitting on and now we're going to i would like you to go to a squat weights more on your heels pull the abdominal in like, like you have a very tight belt here and rotate to one side and come back so as you noticed the shape or the distance from the arms didn't change. Again, I'm only rotating from the talia, so it's a rotation of the ribs. Last time, now imagine that you're going to bring the ball down. As you bring the ball down, you go lower and bring him up, lengthen the leg, and down and lengthen the legs. Make sure that your weight is nicely on your heels. Every time you lengthen the legs, contract the glutes. And up, and up. Last time, and stay here with the squat. Your arms are one line with your upper back. Stay here, go a little lower, and halfway up. A little lower. Make sure that the knees are facing outwards, so they're not going inside. Check your weight. Where is your weight under your feet? I hope it's under the whole foot. And up. Last time you stay here, place your hands behind your head. We're still in the squat. If it's too difficult, you can always come up. We're going to go to one side, find your center. Go to the other side, find your center. Go to the first side and center. Go to the other side and center. And up. check where is your weight under the whole foot, also under your heels. Last time, stay here, go a little lower, bring the arms here, and now place your hands between your legs. You can turn the toes facing forward and go to a stretch. Your hands are on your floor, bend the knees and lengthen, and bend and lengthen. So now you're stretching the hamstring. Last time, bend the knees, stay here, bone for bone, come back up, all the way up, and reach up. Reach up. And now again, bring the arms here, toes are facing out, you're back to your uh, squat. So go down. Now listen, place your hands behind your head. We're only going towards the right knees. knee. You go down and up, and down, and down. So really shorten this side of the talia. You bring the rib towards your hip, and up. 
Last time, now bring the left elbow towards the, this knee. So you're rotating. And up. So we're working a lot of muscles groups. At the same time, you're working your legs, your glutes, your abdominal. Last time, stay here, we're going to combine. So one side, one, and rotate. Right knee to the right, right elbow, left elbow, and right, and left. Last time for this side, left, stay here, go a little lower, place your hands on the floor, and again, stretch. Stay here. Maybe you can bend the knees even, so your head is going closer to the floor. And now, bon bon, you come back up. Okay, we have to do the other side. So again, turn the toes outwards and go back to your squat. Embrace the abdominal here. You have a very tight belt. You pull the navel towards your low back. You engage the ribs, the front ribs to the back ribs. Place your hands here. You're going to the left side. Left elbow to the left hip. And up. Try to stay low with the squat. So you're working also the legs. One more. And now right elbow towards the left knee. And up. Every time find your center. I'm rotating and straight. Rotating and straight. Rotating. We're going to combine. Up and twist. And up and twist. And up and twist. And up and twist. One more. And up and twist. Stay here. The arms here. Place your hands on the ground. Turn the toes inward and stay here in the squat. Now listen. You're going to turn the right toe outwards, facing out, and bring your hands towards the right toe. Bend the right knee. The left leg is elongated. And now strengthen the right knee. And bend and elongate. And bend and elongate. Last time, elongate. Walk with your hands towards the left foot. Turn the toes outwards. You bend the left knee. The right leg is elongated. And up. So your chest is above the left thigh. You're still pulling the navel in always. Last time, walk with your hands to the center and take your elbows. Really let gravity. Stretch your lower back, put the abdominal in, head is heavy, and you can sort of move the body from one side to the other gently, just to feel more stretch in the hamstring, in the lower back, place your hands on the ground, and bon bon bon, you come back up. Okay, stay here, and now you're going to take um, weight in each hand if you want and your legs now are parallel yeah so you're the, under your hips and now you're going to go sit down hold it hold and really what and bring your arms forward I want you to have more weights on your heels and really feel the connection of the navel to your low back and come back and come sit and come up and come sit and come up and now if you can bring the arms a little higher almost one line with your ears and bring it down and sit wait more on your heels and come back so we're working a lot of legs and back last time and stay here now open the legs wider again Bring the arms again, if it's so difficult, you can lose the weights, of course, and go down, stay here. You're going to rotate to one side, and come back, and rotate, 
and come back. And rotate, keep the arms long, elbows soft. We're going to double the, the pulse it, and come back. And up, and come back. So we're working a lot of abdominal, um, in a standing position, a lot of the waistline, and now when we go on the floor, we work more of flexion and extension. And up. And up. Last time, stay in the squat if you can. And now, bring your arms here and lengthen the leg to rest a little bit. Now listen, go back to the squat if you can. Bring the left arm going above your head and the right weight is reaching towards the right heel and come back and change really reach 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 weight more on your heels and come back and go to the right side and come back so as i'm stretching my arms above my head i'm going a little lower a little lower and come back now we go a little faster and up. Don't forget the arms are going towards your heels. It's really pulling down. And up. So you're working the side of the talia on the short side. And up. Every time when you come up, contract the glutes. So we get also a little bit of leg work. Last up. Last time, stay here, bring the weight in front of you, and you go down. Put the weight on the floor, stay here, and now bow, 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 and come back up, and go sit on the mat. Okay, place your hands on the floor, and uh, your feet on the floor. You can always place a bow here to stabilize your knees if you want. Bring the arms here in front of you and roll back down and roll on the floor. Place your hands along your body and your feet a little bit, not precisely under the knees, but a little bit full. We're starting with concentrating on the lower abdominal. I want you to lift the right, of course, you embrace the core, so now towards your lower back. Low back towards your navel, feel the connection right here. And now lift the right foot, maybe centimeter, and place it down. And left, and place it down. Almost like really centimeter, people. If you lift it higher, you're not working the lower abdominal as efficiently. And now, if it's too easy, walk with your feet a little bit forward and lift right, left, put the right one, put the left one, so right, left, right, left, like you're walking, embrace that double now, and right, left, right, left, last time, the whole time, I'm pulling that double in, I'll start with the left, right, left, right, left, as little as possible, people. And up. Oh, if you place your hands here, you'll feel all those muscles are contracting. And up, up. Last time, if you want, you can put the ball or your weight between your knees. Keep the legs there. The same preparation and uh, set up for the body and now lift both legs very minimal and place it down and lift and place it down so i'm squeezing the ball floating the legs as little as possible just above the floor and down and lift. squeeze the ball so you're really holding it if you don't have a ball squeeze the knees together now stay here you bring the knees towards your chest lift your head and simultaneously lower everything. Mine was not so precise, but let's try to do it better. So everything's come up, the chest towards the knees, the ball towards the 
chest and now try to, I'm taking my time to lower my upper body. Otherwise my upper body comes first and I want to try to do it simultaneously. So slowly lift up and I'm going to lower my leg about here, one line with my back ribs and then I'm lowering everything back down. Lifting the head, floating the leg and bring everything together. Press the lower back to the floor and lower the leg halfway and place the rest of the upper body. We continue and lift and come up and lower and down and lift and come up and lower and go down one more and lift lift the legs come here really hold the contraction halfway down and come back down take the ball away place your hands behind your head your feet under your knees you inhale in the exhalation, come up, really push the lower back to the ground. With control, you go down. And up and down. The whole time, press the navel towards your lower back. Press your lower back to the floor. And when you lower the chest, keep the connection here. And up. And up. One more. And up, stay here. Can you come a little higher? I'm almost on my back ribs. Bring the arms here. You take a breath and come halfway up. If it's too difficult, you can always put the ball here. It might help you. And for three counts, go down with control. Your arms, my arms are staying here. And take a breath, lift your head, your chest, and go halfway. Keep the abdominal here. And keep the abdominal engaged and roll down with control. Try not to fall. You take a breath and you come up. Really feel the connection here. You have a C curve. Your arms are reaching forward, but the hips and the navel are going towards your low back and go down or towards the floor actually. And come up. Hold it. Hold it. Feel how strong you are here in the abdominal and go back down. One more. And come up, stay here if you can. Lift the arms and lower. Try not to move anything behind your arms. The chest is open, you're looking at the distance. And up, and back, and lift, and down. Last time you bring it down and go down. Now listen, the right arms is going behind your head it's about one line with my ear. And I'm coming up and up and up and down. So actually my arms doesn't move. It's only my chest that's elevated. And up and up and up. Last time and change. And lift and lower and lift really concentrate try not to favor one side try to stay center and lift and lift and lift last time and both arms here remember the arms do, doesn't don't move you come up and down so my arms are one line with my ear and up and lift and lift and lift the chest is lifting the arms are following last time stay here and place your hands behind your head can you come a little higher bring the right knee to you and the left knee press those knees together place your head down you bring both knees to the right side from the abdominal, come back. You take a breath, you go to the other side. Try to keep the elbows open, open and come back. And go to the first side. You can also extend the arms, so for me it's necessary. Otherwise I'm lifting my shoulders way too much. So I really want to concentrate on the waistline 
and come back. You go to the first side. Pull the navel in, come back. Keep the knees together and come back. Now if you can, place a ball between your knees. If it's too much, lose it. You go to the first side and you stay here. You lift the legs a little bit and down. And lift. And down. And lift. And down. And lift. Really work from the abdominal. Last time, you take a breath and bring everything to the center. We're going to repeat to the other side. You come here, squeeze the ball. You lift and lower. And lift and lower. And lift. Really work from the abdominal. Pull those muscles in. They, they are lifting those legs. Last time, and come center. You go to the first side, you lengthen the legs, you squeeze the ball and come all the way to the other side. Go all the way to the first side, bend and place your legs to the ground, your feet. And lift, lengthen, squeeze the ball. Go it all the way to the other side. And go all the way to the first side. Bend and go down. Last time, you lift, lengthen. You go all the way. Now we stay on this side, bend the knees and place the feet on the, uh, the, feet on the ground. You lift, lengthen. Go to the, first, to the right side, hold it. Go to the other side, bend, place your knees to the ground. Lift. Lengthen the legs, squeeze the ball. Go to the front, like a tic-tac clock. You go from one side to the other. The abdominal, is doing, the abdominal is doing the whole work. Once more, lengthen. Squeeze the ball, go to the right side. And go to the other side, bend, and place the legs to the ground, and come to the center, take the ball away. Your arms are along your body. We're going to a bridge. So the bridge, when you bridge, you're working the back body and the lower back, and you're strengthening all the muscles around the lower back. Take a breath and come up. Find your straight line. So you want to create one line from the shoulders to the hips to the knees. You press all Toes to the ground, especially the big toes, that will line your knees forward. Press the arms to the ground. Pull the navel in and now with control you go down. And you take a breath and come up. Stay here. Reach with the fingers. The upper back is widely on the ground. Back ribs are pressed, uh, front ribs are pressed to the back ribs and go down one more and come up to the bridge stay here stay here and as you go down bring the right knee to you and left knee to you press those knees together now listen you're going to place the feet as closely as possible to your buttock and lift the chest and as you lower the chest bring the knees to you and lift and, and lift. All the work is going for the abdominal. Again, you can put the ball to increase the load on the abdominal. And up. And back. Now, you stay here. Bring the arms here and come to seated position. Bring the feet as closely as possible. I'm going to keep the ball here. Place your hands under your knees and go to a rolling position. Listen, elbows are open, navel towards your lower back, and we roll back, and find your center. So don't just try not to put the feet on the ground. You go back, and find your center. So the hips are rolling back, and the chest follows. And up, and back, one more. And up, now lose the ball, and we continue now, I want you to have 90 degrees with your legs, press the knees together. You roll back, when you come here, stay here, find your 
uh, balance and place it down. We're going to build on. So you go back, stay here, find your balance, lengthen the arms, and again, now we continue. You go down, stay here. Now lengthen the legs. From here, tap the floor and lift. And tap and lift. And tap, shoulders sliding away from your ears. And tap and lift. Last time, tabletop. And now, you roll back. Stay here. Open the legs in a V, slide your arms, your hands towards your ankles. We'll continue with the open leg rocker. Point the toes. You have a strong V. Go back and come center. Find your center. And roll back. And find your center. Two more. And roll back. Find your center. And roll back. Find your center, close the legs, place them down and elongate the legs. So you're sitting in the L position. Elongate from the lower back. Breathe the arms here. And with control, roll down. Place your hands on the ground. We're going to build up for the roll up. So from here, your legs are in a Pilates stand. Stand. You take a breath and just float the upper body. Really push the lower back to the ground. You lift the right leg from the floor. Only a little bit. Left and go back down. You take a breath. Contract the glutes. You come up. So now here I really hope that you feel that you're pressing the lower back to the ground. Right leg, left leg and go down. You take a breath. You come up. If you can, lift both legs. Hold. Hold, hold, place your legs on the ground if it's not possible. You go one leg at a time. You take a breath and flow. Can you come a little higher? Lift the leg, hold, really pull the navel in. Feel the control. This is what holding your body. Place your legs down one more time. You take a breath and come, stay here, stay here, come a little higher, a little higher and go down. The arms are going back. Bring the arms here and come to a roll up. Reach forward. From the roll up, find a straight back and roll back down. And the arms are going back. Bring the arms forward. You reach forward to the roll up. Now find your L shape. Bring the arms forward and roll down. And the arms are going back. Bring the arms forward. You go forward and come up, stay here, stay here. Sorry, I didn't prepare, stay here. Now from here, I want you to twist to the right side and come back. Twist, try to keep your back straight and come up. And go to the first side and, and lift. And up, try not to lift the legs. I'm pressing the back of the leg strongly to the ground. Last time, and now come here. If you can, place your hands behind your head, strengthen the leg, uh, uh, flex your feet, and go down. We continue with the neck pull. So from here, bring the elbows on, then you come up, and I want you to pause for three, two, three, straighten up, and come up. And come up. And one, two, three. And go down. One more. And come back up. And one, two, three. Open. And go down. Okay, people. Bring the arms forward. Uh, forward and come up. And I will ask you to go on your abdominal. So now when you, every time you work the abdominal, you also wanted to work the back body to strengthen the area as well. Okay, the legs are hip uh, width apart and place your hands in a 90 degree angle in front of you. And one line with your, the arms are one, your hands are one arm with your head. 
hip, hip bones are pressed towards the floor, contract the glutes, navel in. Now come up, shoulders are sliding back, chest is forward and stay here. Really I'm pushing the floor away to lift my chest and pull the abdominal in. And with control, I'm only going down to my front ribs that I'm lifting the legs. And so it's a mini, mini, mini swan. And lift the legs, and I'm resting on my front ribs. And come up, and lift. And come up, if you want with the lift, lift the arms. And come up, and hold. And come up, have a cramp here, and hold, and up, and hold. Place your hand under your shoulders, and push yourself up, and go to a shell stretch. Bring the, the hips, the tailbone towards your heels. And now, from here, people, go to table position to a tabletop position and I want you to lengthen the right leg we're going to a plank and the left so shoulders are sliding down you're strong in the abdominal stay here and now you're going to place one knee on the floor and lengthen left and lengthen right really keep the navel engaged like you have a very tight belt around the waistline, right, and left. Now listen, you're going to bring the hips to one, one side and find your center, and left. But try not to lift the hips. You're going to rotate from the abdominal, and up. So you bring the right hip to the floor, and left. I'm sliding here, and right. And left, stay here, from here. Go all the way up, widen the legs, and push the arms away. Stay here. From here, if you can, bring your hands, the fingers are pushing a little bit inwards. I'm going to do a mini push-up. Open the elbows, and up. Heels are pressing towards the floor. Now is towards your lower back. Head going towards the fingers. Last time, and go back to your tabletop position. Release your pulses. Okay, from here, go back to seated position. And put your feet on the ground and roll half roll. Stay here. I want you to actually take a ball in your hands, widen the elbows, bring one elbow to one side and the other side. And up. And up. Pull the navel in. And up. Close the knees. If you can, float the leg. We're going a little faster. And up. And up. And up. If it's too difficult, people, two options. Of course, one is to place your feet on the ground, or if you can, you come a little higher, come a little higher. And oh, try not to move the knees, nor the hips. Two more. And place the bone on the ground. Open the legs, we're going to stretch and round this session up. Bring the arms here, reach, 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 and stretch all the way forward. And come back up. Now listen, widen the legs, rotate towards the right uh, knee, and reach all the way to the right foot. If you can take the foot, if not, take the ankle, or under your knees. Make sure that the left hips is pressed to the ground, uh, left buttock is on the ground, left hips, Hip is pressed backwards, stay here, stretch, and come back up. Find your center, go to the other side, and reach. Make sure this hip is not going forward, but it's staying there. 
Stay here, take a breath, elongate, lengthen above the left leg and come back. From here, place your hands behind, your fingers are facing forward and I want you to lift the chest, bring the shoulder blades, the elbows toward each other, really push the um, chest forward and release. And once more, reach, reach, look at the sky, feel good about yourself if you did it, and come back. So, this was for today, let me come closer to talk to you. I'm trying to keep the lessons a little shorter, that was the request of many of you, so we have 35 minutes, that way it's easier for you to fit it in your daily schedule. So if you have any other suggestions or requests, you can always WhatsApp me or leave a comment under the um, video. Okay, thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time. Stay, stay well, bye-bye.